Hello everybody, Betzo here with Ugly Press Hairdressing. Today we're working on a haircut on Madeline. The makeup was done by Stephanie Chavez. She did a great job with the makeup. I loved the way it turned out. Uh, Madeline has a lot of hair. So today we're going to work on a long layered haircut. And it's going to be sliced through the ends using a slicing technique. Um, she has a lot of hair like I said, but it's fine textured. So for me, I feel like um, with fine textured hair, and it's, there's a lot of it, you can go through there and you can kind of break that shape up. It removes some of the weight, so it has a, a little more of a weightless feel through the ends. That way you can um, create some soft waves, you can create some beach waves. Uh, it just is really versatile. So it kind of really just frees up the head, the hair shape. Right here, we're taking diagonal backs. Um, the diagonal backs start from the um, hair parting from the top of the head shape back towards the ear. You could say back towards the head shape. The hair is distributed forward towards the face. It's slightly elevated so you can go through there and just break it up and break up what's necessary. If you feel like it's already texturized enough in certain areas, just take out what is necessary. When texturizing, you want to open up the blade with a, at a V shape. And as the hair passes through that V shape, you're going to slow, slightly close the blade as you're passing through the hair. That way it's going to create a cutting effect. Also, um, I love the way that particular technique makes the hair look. It makes it look a little lived in, maybe a, maybe a day old, you could say. Maybe not a day old, but anyways, it gives it a, a lived in feel already. So it doesn't look like you just got it freshly cut, even though it's freshly cut. Um, and like I said, this technique, we're doing kind of a two-in-one. You're texturizing and you're trimming the hair at the same time. You can actually give it a really good haircut if you did the slicing technique. It just depends on how aggressive you want to slice through there. On the bang area, we're elevating it there, taking it almost uh, uh, perpendicular to the parting and uh, taking the hair forward from there and elevating it and slicing. Um, at the top of the head shape, Looks like um, we take diagonal back still, elevating the hair up, and then slicing through. So just to add some clarity to this haircut, you're gonna pick your parting, whether it's uh, down the forehead, uh, center forehead, or off to the side. You're gonna take diagonal back, starting from, the, from your uh, parting, the top of the parting, going towards, away from the face. You're gonna elevate that, you're gonna distribute that hair forward and then elevate it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, you're going to um, uh, distribute, then elevate, and then you're going to slice through there. Um, you take section by section. I would say take uh, one, uh, about an inch subsection going away from the face. So as you finish one inch, take it forward, slice it, take your next section and go that way, so on and so on. That's the way you're going to do some of your layers as well. You're going to do diagonal backs. If you wish to layer the hair, going up at a 90 or you could say straight up the head shape. And you can add layers that way using uh, that frontal part as a guide. Uh, just take the hair that is needed. With this particular haircut, we only needed to break up the bottom. And that's really what I'm working on is um, working on the bottom of the head shape and the hair cut. So um, I shouldn't say the head shape, it's really the hair cut. And anyways, um, if she had much thicker hair, uh, you could really um, use some thinning shears. Some people call them texturizers. Uh, but you want the texturizers that you use, you really want them to have a lot of teeth. But back to cutting with those texturizing shears, if she had thicker hair as far as like the diameter of the hair strand, not the density. Of course, density is important as well, but you could go in there and you could go from the mid strand out to the ends to texturize it and give her a much skinnier feel. Um, now we're working on the back. We're dividing the hair into two sections, left and right. We're gonna take one inch subsections, uh, comb it at a natural fall, and as much as you can at a natural fall. Sometimes you have to elevate it a little bit. But um, just going in there and I'm breaking up that shape just like we did towards the front, just to release some of that weight. Um, that weight needs to be released so that way it has continuity from the front to the back. You don't want the front to be all thin and wispy and the back to be bulky. You really want to um, that hair shape to be fluid from the front to beginning um, and the back to front. 
So um, there we are, we're just breaking it up. Uh, check your balance whenever you're finished. You want to make sure that what you took off on one side, you're going to take off on the other side. That's why it's so important to take one section at a time. That way you have a road map uh, to where you want to end up at. Uh, kind of going through there to the very bottom and just making sure that that's broken up and that it has some good movement. We want to still maintain some strength, but we want it broken up. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. It's a long layered haircut. It's pretty universal right now. A lot of people are wearing just long hair and um, that kind of tends to be the trend and it has been the trend for a while. Um, I hope you have liked this video. Like I said, my name is Beto with Ugly Press Hairdressing. Stephanie Chavez did the makeup on this video. She did a great job. And Madeline was a face for this video. Um, like and subscribe our video. I hope to give you more in the future. And there's the end results. It's got some movement. It's got some weight released. Thank you so much and God bless.